What do YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, and many other massive global companies have in common? Besides the fact that they can only ever temporarily satisfy our impossible levels of dopamine we seek on the daily by clicking on bright, shiny things, they all use a web design framework called Django. Django was released in 2005 and was written in Python. With the steady uptick in Python's popularity, Django became one of the most popular app frameworks in the world, powering sites that have to process billions of likes, polls, comments, and reaction emojis each and every day. One of the creators of Django is a musician, so they named it after Django Reinhardt, a Romani guitar player who could totally shred. The free and open source framework was designed to help simplify the process for Python programmers tasked with creating complicated websites. And Django syncs with widely used databases like MySQL and Postgres. Before you go back to doom scrolling, remember to click those like and subscribe buttons because it's the only time millennials feel anything anymore. Follow Howdy.com for more tech talk and nerdy programming history.